Way back in 1948, the aerospace engineer Werner von Braun wrote a novel called Project Mars. It was science fiction, but it included scientific calculations for manned missions, as well as one shockingly prophetic line. The Martian government was directed by 10 men, the leader of whom was entitled Elon. 70 years later, Elon Musk is among the billionaires reviving rocketry in the private sector, building on more than a century of scientific advancements as we ponder living in space. Primitive rocket technology dates back to ancient times, with evidence that the Chinese launched colorful displays in the first century. But the modern spaceflight rockets we think of today owe their beginnings to three men considered the fathers of rocketry. In 1903, Russian Konstantin Tsiolkovsky published what is now known as the Rocket Equation, involving calculations related to rocket speed, mass, propellant, and more. Then, in 1926, American Robert Goddard launched the first liquid-fueled rocket, and he studied propulsion throughout his life, often paying out of his own pocket for the research. Rounding out the trio is Hermann Oberth, a Hungarian-born physicist in Germany who greatly advanced the idea of using multiple stages in rocket travel to make it to space. But it was decades later that rockets captivated mainstream interest via the space race. The Soviets were the first to use a rocket to send something into space, the Sputnik 1 satellite, in October 1957. The U.S. launched its own satellite a few months later. In 1961, cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first human in space, and in 1969, the Americans landed on the moon. During that decade, rockets were also used to send crafts to explore the solar system. Starting in 1981, NASA ran its space shuttle program for decades, sending humans to space for missions, as well as satellites for many purposes, including military. But NASA's program didn't achieve the low-cost access to space as once hoped, and the massive price tags played a huge role in ending the space shuttle program in 2011. Federal funding had fizzled out, but the private sector was about to take over the world of rockets and spaceflight, thanks to billionaires sending their sights far past the moon. For mega-wealthy entrepreneurs, space is the new frontier. Elon Musk's SpaceX, Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, and Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic blasted rocketry back into the headlines. Musk and SpaceX command perhaps the most attention, with notable successes like their launch of the huge Falcon Heavy 3-booster rocket in February 2018. Up next is their much-hyped BFR, which might someday be used to ferry colonists to Mars, so humans can become what Musk and others call a multi-planet species, able to survive if Earth becomes uninhabitable. And if Musk is indeed the one to create a space colony, Von Braun's 1948 novel will prove eerily prescient. Humans living on Mars, shepherded by a leader named Elon. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.